Break for Change is an opportunity for students to uh, spend their spring break doing something that they can actually kind of build into the kingdom of God. So they have opportunity to go on missions trips to you know different parts of the country, or in my case, I went to Honduras, so overseas, which was a fabulous opportunity. One of the nice things is that Break for Change is not designed solely to go overseas, that it actually does have in America missions, um, which is something that I think is some, somewhat lacking in the American mission field. I actually had the opportunity as a faculty member to sponsor a team to San Diego, and that's how I first got involved. It's a really unique opportunity for students and the faculty members that go to get to experience missions. Um, for some students, it's the first time. For some students, um, they've done it many other times before. Um, for some students, it's an eye-opening experience because they've never experienced ministering to people, and whether it's sharing the gospel in words or through their actions, some students have never done that, and Brian gives the unique opportunities to students to be able to do that. When I went to Honduras, I went with a soccer team. Um, it was a mix of varsity and JV players. Our mission was to, uh, to minister to um, the Hondurans with both pickup soccer games with local teams, and also we had an opportunity to, uh, to move around in the city and meet up with orphanages and play games with the kids. Um, team up and do uh, service projects, that sort of thing. But it was also a great opportunity just to see a, a side of the world that I hadn't really seen before, um, to see poverty firsthand. Um, it, it's just very different from America. So even though I didn't speak the language, it was really fun to interact with children. Children seem to be the same all across the world. And uh, so to be able to play just games of soccer with them, tag, hilarious games was great. Break for Change has been for a while trying to establish relationships with um, some of the same places they've gone every year. Um, they do return trips periodically. This past March was the third year. I went the second year that they um, actually went to San Diego to um, what's called the City of Refuge. Um, what they're trying to do right now is establish an ongoing relationship with the City of Refuge. The way I'm continuing my relationship with them is I've been in contact with some of the members of their team there and I'm basically going to work with them for two weeks. Um, I'm not sure what it'll look like exactly because I won't be with the team, but I'll actually be probably doing a lot of the similar things that we did before, working with um, the team, ministering to the homeless people in the city and the inner city kids and families um, with bread lines and food and kids club and youth group and stuff like that. It offers students an opportunity to take something that they learned in class about, well say about worldviews or um, just the condition of man and it gives them an opportunity to take that and apply it in real life in situations where people are hurting. And so they have an opportunity to show Christ's love to um, the people around them. Definitely pray about it before you go if you're thinking about it. And um, go with a mindset of learning, um, learning and with an open heart, uh, willing to have God change you and just be willing to see what God does in your life and through you as well.